That's the sound so many Kentuckians heard last night as storms ripped through the state. Over 78,000 people in Kentucky are still without power at last check. As of tonight, the Commonwealth of Kentucky fears over 100 people may have died. That tornado decimated so many communities and lives and traveled over 200 miles within the state itself. Let's start in the first community the storm affected. In Arkansas, at least two people are dead and several others are hurt after a tornado tore through a nursing home. This was in Monette, Arkansas, about an hour north of Memphis. People working the scene say at least 20 people were trapped inside at one point, but many have already been rescued. Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson declared a state of emergency for the town of Monette. So today I did declare an emergency in Arkansas uh, so that we can provide emergency assistance. We have 20,000 uh, uh, without power in Arkansas. Uh, they're working very hard to uh, put that get that power back on but the emergency declaration was important for uh, that uh, assistance. The mayor of the town of Monette said this was the first tornado to hit the town since 1984. In Missouri at least one person is dead after the storms ravaged a town just outside of St. Louis. The storm damaged homes and trees. Powerful winds also knocked down power lines. One couple says they are grateful their family could get out safely just in time. <laughs> Everyone's kind you of got panicking. The alarms on the phones, the alerts. Yeah. And they got down there 15 minutes before the storm hit. Uh, they said it sounded loud, you know, deafening almost. But then, uh, you know, they they're safe. So that's all that matters. I mean, tree limbs came down in the cellar. They deprived themselves out. But otherwise, you know, they have a daughter down there, a dog. They got everybody down there safe. So it's all good. But in Kentucky, the same storms leveled buildings in the town of Mayfield. Crews came out early Saturday morning to search through the damage. The governor declared a state of emergency, activating the Kentucky National Guard and Kentucky State Police. Through the very moment that we are standing here, we have lived through some of the toughest uh, hours of our lives as Kentuckians. Uh, this event uh, is the worst most devastating, most deadly tornado event in Kentucky's history. In Illinois, at least six people are dead and dozens injured after the storm moved through the southern part of the state. The storm caused the roof to collapse at an Amazon warehouse, injuring at least 30 people. One person was airlifted to a hospital in St. Louis. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker said anything that is needed will be used in helping Illinois citizens whose lives have been forever changed by this tragedy. There are no words to assuage the pain of losing a loved one, and even fewer when that cost and that loss comes so suddenly. In Tennessee, four people died as a result of the storms. Two in Lake County, one in Obion, and one in Shelby County. Kingston Springs in Cheatham County was hit hard last night by, by last night's tornadoes. It caused widespread destru destruction. The tower followed Highway 70 through the area, destroying homes, trees, ripping up water lines, and knocking out power. A woman in Kingston Springs was nearly a casualty herself. Police say she received the storm warning alert, and soon after, her mobile home was picked up and thrown. The woman was pinned down from the waist down, and it took 20 minutes to get her free. She is currently in critical condition. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee announced tonight that the National Guard is ready to be deployed if necessary. The Red Cross of East Tennessee is also heading to the affected areas as we speak. Many Tennessee counties were heavily affected by the storms, primarily the counties of Lake and Obion County in West Tennessee. Governor Lee said to those who have lost everything today that they have to remember they will get through this. Over and over again today, I heard people, and these are the most affected people say, we will get through this. Governor Lee says fire departments from three or four counties away are showing up to help. Local churches in the affected areas are opening their doors as a warming center and place for people to stay who have lost everything. President Biden took to the podium this afternoon to reassure those affected by the storms that he will do everything in his power to help. Governor Bashir and I started off the morning together and uh, and he said, uh, as I was watching on television while talking to him, like all of you have, 
And uh, he, his comment was, it looks like a war zone, but worse. But I want to emphasize what I told all the governors. The federal government will do everything, everything it can possibly do to help. Emergency crews in these states project the death toll to reach more than 100 people by the end of the day. The Red Cross started taking donations to help all the people affected by these disasters. If you would like to donate, head over to redcross.com and click on the donate tab at the top of the page. Katie? Kaylin, thank you for that report.